All right, B Fit Nation, looks like we are back and ready to go. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, B Fit Live. I am your host, B Fit Ambassador Roy Montes, joined by Senior Mass Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good. I'm on a chocolate hangover, so <laughs> bear with me today. We are going to push through those chocolate hangovers today. Uh, well, first off, welcome in, right? We, we hope that you've had a great weekend, a nice, uh, comfortable weekend, right? It's Monday, it's, we're ready to go. It looks like a, it's, it's time for us to push through and, and kind of burn some additional calories that we may have uh, incorporated through the weekend. Uh, maybe if we were a little isolated or a little uh, static. Uh, this is the time to really celebrate our active bodies by moving through this BeFit Live program workout. If you're new, join us. Leave us a note in the comments section below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're uh, moving and staying active from. Let us know any goals or any motivational uh, comments that you may have. Uh, we'd like to hear them. We'd like to see them and we'd like to celebrate them. So uh, please let us know by leaving a note in the comments below. Um, today we have a resistance training workout available for you today, which means uh, we are working on strength. We're working on form and control. Uh, we'll need one dumbbell for today with today's resistance based workout. So the way it's going to go is we're going to have four different movements that we're going to tackle. Uh, which are on the screen right now. We have a narrow, a narrow stance dumbbell goblet squat, which will be movement number one. Number, movement number two, we have a T push-up. So a little bit of a core strength activation along with our push-up uh, foundational movement. Movement number three, we have a static lunge with a single arm shoulder press, a little two for one combo movement there of lower body and upper body activation. And movement number four, we have a V-sit crunch, okay? So really thinking about engaging our core with the fourth movement. Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one round with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team? So grab your water, grab your towel, grab one or two dumbbells, uh, whatever you may have access to, and let's get ready to work, all right, team? Uh, we'll go through uh, a brief demonstration of the four movements. We will have uh, some dynamic stretching, that way we can get our bodies prepared, primed and prepared and ready to work. And then we'll jump into our workout, uh, which is just under 20 minutes, all right, team? So what's great about this workout is it's compact, it's full body, and we can think about scaling up or scaling down the movements. Just about any of the four movements, we can scale up or scale down, and we will, we will uh, notate that throughout the workout for today. All right, any modifications, any things like that, uh, just let us know uh, in the comments below if you have any issues and things like that, and we can uh, dive into modifications, right? We are all about scaling up or scaling down the four different movements for today, team. All right? So once again, think about form, think about control, think about isolating specific targeted muscle groups that we're going to uh, be activating for today. But let's start off with demos here. So movement number one, we are looking at a narrow stance goblet squat. So we're going to grab one dumbbell here. <clears throat> and with that narrow stance, we're thinking about six inches from our foot placement, right? So really narrow stance on your foot placement, uh, as well as these tracking over our toes. Uh, with one dumbbell, we're gonna go ahead and grab that dumbbell from the head here. So we are gonna hold it in a what's called a goblet style of squat. Uh, our elbows are tucked in right underneath our elbows. And from here, so instead of out to the left and to the right, we're tucking them in close to our dumbbell. From here, shoulder width, which really activates our quads in that low squat position. So we're gonna drop those hips down, engaging <clears throat> our quads, isolating our quads, and driving up through our heels. Nice standing position here. Again, chest is nice and proud. Shoulders rolled back. Head is looking straight ahead. Nice, comfortable form down into your lowest squat position. And then right back up. And Sergeant Barry, uh, if you do not have any dumbbells, you will just go ahead and grab, um, make a nice strong fist with your hand as if you were holding, right? Again, narrow stance, pushing those hips back, chest stays up. Head is looking straight ahead, isolating our quads and driving right back up, all right? And that's movement number two. Again, nice control on the form. Think about control, think about form uh, throughout each of these four movements. Uh, movement number two. <clears throat> Sergeant Barry, would you like to demonstrate movement number two? Certainly. Okay. So we're going to get down into a high plank position with our push-up with a rotation. So we're looking at that nice high plank position right here. Hands are going to be stacked 
right underneath our shoulders. Nice high plank, hips stay square to the floor, and our foot placement, shoulder width apart. That's gonna give you a nice solid foundation from your foot placement, which means your toes are right above your ankles. So from here, we drop down into our push-up position. Elbows tucked in close to our torso. From here, we're rotating one arm up, right overhead, gaze follows our fingertips, and then we bring it right back down. Again, underneath our shoulders, that nice solid push-up, just like Sergeant Barry is doing, and then we take that opposite arm and we track it up towards the ceiling, gaze follows fingertips, nice control. Um, and that's gonna be movement number two, all right? Really forcing us to activate our, co our core engagement as well as that push-up foundation with that three points of contact onto the floor as one arm raises up. Movement number three, we have a static lunge with a single arm shoulder press. So with that static lunge, which just means we're taking a nice split stance here. Feet are shoulder width apart. From here, we're gonna take one dumbbell, rack it into that front rack position, all right? Remember to stack your wrists right above your elbow. That's gonna give you the most, uh, that most solid form and uh, stabilization <clears throat> right into that front rack position. From here, you're gonna drop your rear knee down into your lunge. So about a 90 degree bend at your front knee and your rear knee from here track up and out of that lunge and then we go into an overhead press nice strong shoulder activation movement here controlling that weight on the way down Re static lunge into an overhead press okay team thinking about engaging our glutes again quads hamstrings and then some upper body work with that shoulder press since this is some unilateral movement which means we're working one side at a time we're going to work one side for 20 seconds and then we'll switch to that second side for 20 seconds. All right, team. And movement number four, we're thinking core activation. So we'll take a seat on the floor, sorry, break, and we can go ahead and demonstrate this one. So with this movement, thinking core engagement, <clears throat> seated on the floor, we're gonna recline back to about 45 degrees here, a little less than that, right there. Perfect, perfect. From here, we're driving our knees to our chest with a V-sit crunch. So knees come up towards our chest, just like you would a knee tuck, extend out, and drive right back in. So this is a two for one here. So for 20 seconds, we're gonna go into that V-sit crunch. And then that next 20 seconds, we're gonna go into a V-sit hold. So we're reclined back here. Our legs are elevated and extended out into that full potential. You're gonna see a lot of core activation here, stabilization, really engaging that midsection here for movement number four. Nice control. We're, we're, and we're good to go. We're good to go. Uh, we're, uh, we're making sorry, I'm sorry I'm very work a little bit more today. I get extra credit for that. Extra for sure. credit for that one. Um, don't take time off of your workout, but uh, we should be nice and warmed up uh, with those demonstrations here. But since our viewers are not warmed up, we are going to go into some dynamic stretching right now, team. All right. So before we get started, we like to prime our bodies, get our bodies warmed up and prepared and ready to work. So there's a few different movements that we like to uh, tackle before we get started, uh, just to isolate specific muscle groups here, team. So uh, let's take that right leg and extend it back to your glutes here. We'll do a few different stretches here just to prime our bodies for about 30 seconds here with a dynamic quad stretch to start us off. So pushing our hips forward, Right leg goes back, left arm goes up towards the ceiling, reaches for a little bit of shoulder uh, mobility work here. Control that on the way up and on the way down. So with each of these movements, you can really uh, go at your own pace. You can go as quickly or as slowly as you need, team, all right? Switching to the left and to the right, up and down, as quickly or as slowly as you need, just like we're doing right here, all right? Focusing on our breathing here, <clears throat> nice deep breath in. And exhale, good. I've been doing a little bit more yoga, so my breath cadence is a little more controlled, I like to believe. All right, team, let's take a nice wide stance here. All right, we're gonna shift our weight over to the left and then to the right with some lateral lunges here with our feet fixed, toes pointed forward, hips pushing back, feeling a, lot, a little small stretch in the inside of our thigh, some blood work moving towards our lower extremities here, chest stays up, Again, we can go as fast or as slow. Sit in to this movement as deep as you need. Again, just getting some blood flow working, opening up our hips. Again, if we may have been seated for a long period of time, this is, these are some great movements to execute, whether before a workout or during or after, or a little bit later. If you may feel tight 
Great movements here. All right, let's come to the top of our space here. We're gonna send one leg back into a reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down. Right leg back, right arm up. Right arm reaches over. Feeling that stretch on our lats, left and right side here. Go ahead again, alternate as quickly or as slowly as you need. Sit in as long or as quickly as you need. Good. There you go. Again, open up those hips here. Lat activation. Back. Rear of our backs here. <clears throat> Good. Last three seconds here. One more rep here to finish this out. Out in two, out in one. All right, team. Since we do have some squats here to activate, let's think about body weight squats here. So feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go about 10 to 12 body weight squats just to warm us up into that nice fluid motion. Really getting our knees, ankles, our body used to this specific movement here. All right, nice controlled form, really pushing those hips back. Chest stays up, nice and proud. Good. Four more reps here, as quickly or as slow as you need. Out in three, out in two, out in one and standing up nice and tall. We're just going to go into some large windmills here for shoulder mobility. So nice solid foundation here. We're gonna go forward with our right arm. Good, let's go backwards now. Take it to the back here. Nice big circles here. And we'll switch arms here, left arm forward. And left arm to the back here to finish us out. Six, five, four, three, two. All right. We are ready to go, team. Again, grab your towel, grab your water, grab anything that you may need to scale up or scale down. If you need a mat, go ahead and grab that for your knees. Maybe it's for the push-up. We have a modification there. Grab two dumbbells or one dumbbell that we'll be using. Uh, again, drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. John, good morning as well. Good to see you in here, John. Yes, sir. All right. Again, we're always looking forward to our BFit Nation comments. So <clears throat> we're here to help support our Exchange BFit program here. All right, team. We'll get started here grabbing one dumbbell. Todd, we are up in 10 seconds here. Great job. Great job. Out of, up in five. Up in three two, one. All right, team, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock, first set. We have that narrow stance squat, just like starting Barry is starting off with. Again, those feet are about six inches apart from one another, right? We're really focusing on um, isolating our quads. So sitting back to the lowest part of your squat. And if we didn't know, our foot placement matters. So the narrow, your foot stance is, the more isolated you're gonna feel in your quads. In that driving up position, driving from our toes, our heels, up to standing position, out in two, out in one, there we go. So I have a question. Absolutely. So does that mean the further apart your feet are, you'll activate your glutes as Ex well? That is exactly it. That's exactly it, Sergeant Barry. So the more uh, wider you're going out, the more you're gonna activate hamstrings, glutes, a little bit more muscle recruitment into the lower body work. All right. Yeah. All right, team. Here we go. Second movement here, T push-ups. We're going to drop down into our low push-up position. Left arm comes up, rotates up towards the ceiling. Our gaze follows as well. There we go. Stopping at about midline there, right above our body. Again, our foot placement could help out as well. Feet shoulder width apart can give you a little bit more foundation. 13 seconds here. Good, exhaling as you come up. Drive it out of that push-up position. Good, last two, last rep. There we go. Good job, 20 seconds to recover. Here again, movement number three. We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna grab one dumbbell. We have a single arm static lunge overhead, shoulder press. So my left leg is forward, my right leg is back. There we go, front rack position with my right arm. 20 seconds, we are working one side.
Dropping down and driving up. Resetting, back down, driving up. Again, try to track your knee, your front knee tracking over your toe. Toes, actually. <laughs> or your ankle. All right, 20 seconds here. Let's go ahead and switch after that rep. Switch foot placement, switching arms with our weight. Good. Find your balance, find your stabilization. Nice tight core. Good, last five, nice controlled movements here. Out in two, out in one, and standing back up here. Good job, way to finish up that rep. There it is, there's that audience hand clap. All right, movement number four here. As you can see, we are moving through our four movements for today. Again, resistance training is what we're focusing on. So we're taking our moves nice and controlled, nice and isolated. So we're sitting back, reclining back from here, driving our knees to our chest as slowly or as quickly as you would like here. Again, 20 seconds, we'll work on that V-sit crunch. And in five seconds, we're gonna go into a V-sit hold. Same position, minus a knee tuck. 20 seconds here, reclining back. Hands are elevated, or hands are next to your hips. Good, good. 10 seconds here. Find your zen, if you will, if it's in your practice. Out in two, out in one. All right, team. Here's how we get 60 seconds to hop up, to hydrate, to towel off, to recover. This is where I find my zen. This is where we, <laughs> the, the 60 seconds. 60 seconds, yeah. 60, Not a bad place, not a, <laughs> uh, Again, recalibrate here. Think about the four different movements. Think about where you can possibly scale up in your weight selection, if you have it, or if it's a deeper squat or a faster tempo, all right? Think about those movements. Again, moving into rounds two, three, and then five, four. All right, team. Again, good to have you in BFit Nation with each BFit Live. It really helps to uh, share this workout with any uh, family members, spouses, coworkers, things like that. It uh, helps keep this accountable, team, right? I know I have Sergeant Barry here with me to help keep me accountable. And again, workout partners as well. So um, keeping each other accountable. One community here, Be Fit Nation. Five seconds here, grabbing that one dumbbell. Good, there it is. St narrow stance, dumbbell, goblet squat. 40 seconds on the clock dropping down to your low squat position. Controlling that tempo on the way down. Driving up. Good, 23. 21, all right, good team. Sergeant Mary, let's take a little bit of a wider stance here since we're here, we can feel the difference here. Shoulder width apart. You can feel a little bit more recruitment. Your glutes, your lower glutes, your hamstrings pushing you back up. Out in three, two, one. Knees drive out and time. Good job. Again, feeling that difference. Uh, foot placement, hand placement makes a big difference throughout each movement. So, a uh, T push up here, for example. We won't do it here today, but uh, if you want to explore different movements here, we have a standard grip. You can go into a wide grip. You can go into a narrow grip. Really isolating different movements here. 40 seconds on the clock. Then to our push up. And I say the only reason we won't explore that right now is because we have our nice T rotation forcing us to really stabilize off of three points of contact on the floor, keeping our hips square to the floor as well. 18 seconds here. So finding that nice T rotation, thoracic in your spine, mid to upper back. Good. And Sergeant Barry, I think this is a good time if we need to modify to show the viewers, we can come down to our knees, go into our push-up, lead with our chest, keeping our hips up, coming up into our high plank, or rotating off of the floor, absolutely correct. And time, good job. We get that extra credit for this one. <laughs> Static lunge, overhead press, coming up. Five seconds, team, there we are. Left forward, right back, front rack on that right arm, we're down, 20 seconds. Each leg, each arm, right? Controlling that body weight on the way down. The same with foot placement on our rear leg right now, team. If your rear foot is closer to your body, you're gonna feel a lot more activation and isolation in that quad. If you take a wider stance, 
Send that rear foot back a little longer. Switch legs here. Get a little bit more glute activation as well. Good. There you go. Seven seconds here. Five. Out in three. Two. Good job, team. What a finish that one out. I owe you one there. All right. So again, hand placement, foot placement makes a big difference in your body and in your movement. V-sit crunch coming up. Five seconds. Second round, fourth movement. Up in three, two, one. Reclining back here. V-sit crunch. Again, this could be comparable to a knee tuck, but I know with our ACFT, we're going into a plank scenario. So with 20 seconds, this V-sit crunch could create, be a great modification to training for a plank in your positions, right? Really think about engaging our core, holding our balance, nice and strong, nice and tight. Good. Just like Sergeant Barry's doing, she is looking straight ahead. Good. Good. Last three, two, back is up, back is up, and time. Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Good work on that one. Good work, Be Fit Nation. <laughs> Find that recalibration here. Again, share this workout with your friends, your family, your spouses, your coworkers. Keep each other, keep each other accountable today, team. All right. Find our breath here. Find our water. Good. Again, 30 seconds. 36 seconds here. All right. <clears throat> Uh, and we'd like to hear from you, Beef Nation. Let us know. Did you uh, have any activities planned for last weekend or this coming up weekend? Do we have any goals? Do we have any, um, are, we, are we running? Are we doing any, any marathons, any training, physical fitness tests coming up, ACFT coming up? What are the dates? Let us know. Drop us a note. Uh, we'll help you train for them all. We can. <laughs> Five seconds here. Find your one dumbbell for a goblet squat. Narrow stance. Here. All right. Again about six inches into that narrow stance, pushing those hips back, driving up through your heels, chest stays up, elbows are tucked in close to where they are basically tapping your knees at the very bottom of your movement. Good. And I think it's a, it's a good note, sorry to bury that close grip or close stance to regular standard squat to a sumo stance. You can feel all different activations in your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes being recruited out of those different movements. All right, 20 seconds there. Good job. All right, again, T push-ups here. If you are with us, if you need any modifications, let's go ahead and drop to those knees. Lead with that chest going down and then into that rotation or come up at your high plank and then into your rotation. So here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. Good. Controlling your weight. Controlling your body on the way down. Good. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna match you this time. Good. Again, leading with our chest. Think about our elbows coming into an arrow formation from the top versus a T formation. That'll be a lot more comfortable on your elbows and shoulders. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Again, engaging our core with that one and with movement number four. Again, you may not know, but core stability, core strength, the trunk of your movement here. Single arm here. Static lunge with the shoulder press coming up. Split stance, dropping that rear knee down, driving right back up. Good. Again, and as well as your foot placement here, think about your rear foot shoulder width apart as well. If your foot, your rear foot is right behind your front foot, it's gonna be a tightrope type of scenario. Switch arms. And you're not gonna have a lot of stability there. So, shoulder width apart, a little bit deeper into that rear leg can help recruit some glute activation there. Last seven seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Finishing there with a smile. All right. 
<laughs> Be Fit Nation, third round, fourth set. Take a seat here with us, 10 seconds here. V sit crunch for 20 seconds, V sit hold for 20. We are up in three, two, nine, bear. Here we go. Driving our knees here towards our chest. Bringing our chest up just like a crunch would, right? Bringing those shoulders up to our knees after that recline position. 25 more seconds. 25. Three more seconds here. We're going to our hold. Two, one. We are up. Reclining back here, finding that nice, comfortable thought here, keeping our chest up again. If we need to put one heel down, let's put one heel down. There we are. Last three, two, one. Good. Absolutely. 60 seconds here. And just like you were doing starting break, modification here. We need to put our heels down, either one or even both, reclining back. That's great. It's a great modification, and that's where we are today. If it is within our practice today. Grab that water, grab that towel. 43 seconds here, B-Fit Nation. Find our breath here. Good work, B-Fit Nation. Once again, pushing through our B-Fit lives from our exchange B-Fit program here. Again, B-Fit Ambassador Roy Montes and Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Berry. We are joining you every step of the way, every rep of the way full body resistance space workout for you today. All right, one dumbbell is all you need. One more round if you'd like to get a quick taste of it and you're just joining us, grab one dumbbell or even don't. Make that nice strong fist here. We have seven seconds here. Narrow stance, goblet, squat. Pushing our way through our fourth round, our final round, which is our what? It's our best round. That's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, our best round here. Good. Good. Again, keeping our chest up, controlling that weight on the way down, driving right back up, starting Barry. With this next rep, let's take four seconds on the way down, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, four, shoot right back up. One, two, three, four, shoot right back up. All right, we're good. Last three, last two, last one. And that's an example of time under tension here, right? Really forcing your body to slow the movement down, asking your muscle fibers to recruit a lot more activation out of that movement. That's a great tool to really focus on tempo, right? The speed of your movements. Here we go, team. Team push-ups. Two, one, 40 on the clock here. Good. Again, last round here, push through, stay with us. We have to go off of one knee, off of two knees, lead with your chest on the way down, arrow formation on your elbows, tucked in. Good job, team. Hand release if we're there. Good, feet shoulder width apart. Exhaling as you press up, out in five, team. Out in three, two, one. Standing up nice and proud. Sorry, very good job. Yes. High five right there. Good job. You won't see those again unless you repeat our workout, which that could be the case. All right, static lunge, single arm shoulder press. Last and final round here. All right, team. Left foot forward, right foot back, dropping that rear knee down, driving up. Through that heel, as you drive up through that heel, overhead press with your single arm, feeling that activation in your shoulder, recruitment of your tricep, last three seconds here, two, one, go ahead and switch legs and switch arms, Sw switch grip, good, good, last 10, last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Again, asking a lot of isolation movements for today, right? Resistance training, isolating, tapping in to specific targeted muscle groups. All right, last set, best set, Sergeant Barry. Yes. V-sit crunch coming up. Here we go, 40 seconds lifting those heels. 
driving those knees up to our chest as quickly or as slowly as you would like. Good. The last 20 seconds, we're gonna go into a V-sit hold. Out of two, one, let's go ahead and switch. Legs are elevated, reclining back. Hands are elevated, hands by your hips. Heel can be down or up, whatever we need. Last five seconds here, we're gonna finish with a smile team. Out in three, two, one. There we go, team. Good job. Hand clap here. Starting very good job. How about for our viewers? Yes. Hand clap here. Good job, team. Good job. As you catch your breath here, towel off. Let's see. B Fit Nation, good job. Good work today. Again, this was a great exercise. Full body here. We're thinking full body targeted muscle groups, strength, resistance based training here, team. Nice controlled movements is what we had available for you today. And as, as any and different BFIT lives go, it can be cardio based, it can be resistance based like it is today, focusing on specific targeted muscle groups, or it could be a hybrid of both. Really, getting your heart rate elevated depends on the amount of effort that you put in during your workout team. They can be as challenging or as uh, less challenging as you would like for them to be. But we're here with you every step of the way, team. Sunnerberry, anything? From you on the comments or? No, thanks for workout. helping me burn some of that chocolate. I might have to do like two more rounds, but it's okay. It was good though. Great workout. Thank you. And that's what's great about these VFit lives is if you play this back again, or if you extended your four rounds into five or six or seven or eight, I mean, that's 17, you know, doubling the amount of time and reps and body uh, under tension. So uh, that's a great way to really increase your workout if you're looking for a, a, a longer workout to accomplish so uh, great work today bfit nation again with the exchange in our bfit program we're here for you every step of the way visit us in store find us on your installation near you or visit us online at shopmyexchange.com right we have uh, things that may help keep your body active during your active lifestyle team from workout gear to fitness uh, footwear to fitness trackers to help you dial in uh, different metrics and help you achieve any type of goal that you may have, right team? If you visit us uh, in store and you go directly outside of our main exchange into our mall areas, we have specific wellness stores available to you as well that can really help dial you in from the inside out or the outside in, whether it be cryotherapy for uh, active recovery sessions to really dial in that uh, recovery rate to uh, cryotherapy that can help out a lot as well with recovery along with alignment. Um, you, we have durable medical equipment which can help with any type of bracing that you may need. Uh, a lot of active wear as far as wearables, uh, anything to help you get around a little bit more easily. If you go into our exchange restaurants, we have more than 1,700 restaurants available to you to surf through those menus and dial in your better for you options, right? Surf through those menus, dial in, because we do know nutrition is key. Nutrition is such an important part to our active lifestyle, and then helps with those uh, chocolate <laughs> hangovers. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then hit us up at uh, the R Exchange stores, right? Not only just convenience for gas, but also for smart snacking options. Look for a shelf tag where we have healthier choices just like here uh, that takes the guesswork out of smart snacking options. More than 450 items uh, at our express stores to help on hydration, to help on smart snacking, to get your nutrition dialed in from uh, breakfast to lunch, to lunch to dinner, and, and things like that. So it can really help elevate. After workout snack? After workout snack, be sure to replenish those calories that you burned in a smart and health conscious way team all right and as always if you visit us uh, if you're looking for additional information different additional content whether it be our live workouts right here whether it be uh, wellness services gear or nutrition shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit or scan the qr code right here on the screen that'll take you directly to our exchange hub where we document we have articles we have press releases on our be fit programs as well as different content to dial you in to any additional information that you may be looking for. All right, team, uh, visit us, shop that QR code, scan that QR code with your phone, pull up that camera on your phone. That'll take you directly there to this link right here. 
uh, just for a wealth of additional information that we have and the exchange in our BFIT program has to offer to you. All right. Um, again, share this workout with your family, with your spouses. Keep each other accountable, BFIT Nation. We're here for you. We're here to help support you every step of your active fitness journey, wherever it may be. We will meet you there and uh, help push you along to wherever you need to go, team. Uh, so, anybody, anything else? I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to start this week. <laughs> Absolutely. So again, have a great start to your week, team. Progress, finish off nice and strong, and we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, team. All right, we'll see you then. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Deep <laughs> Nation.